everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So um, I had a, a pretty good day. Hopefully everybody had a, a decent day considering, right? So I'm hoping that we're, uh, everybody's being awesome and doing the best they can with everything that's going on. Uh, I don't know if you partake, partake, partook, gosh, I've been on the phone all day. Um, trying to figure out how to get this phone to, to do the best it can be, and I'm failing here miserably. All right, you can tell that I'm human, right? So, all right, um, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for, for participating and watching. And I'm hoping that I'm providing enough value for you so that you maximize your health. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of different things before we start. Uh, I had a couple of questions about how does this energy medicine work, right? So, hey, Robert, good to see you. Um, how does energy medicine work? We all have quantum particles inside our bodies, right? We're all made of, uh, of protons, neutrons, electrons. And um, just like a prayer would work for a loved one, right? Um, energy medicine works in the same way. And if you think about mass and matter, um, the, the slower vibration energy is, the firmer it is. So my desk is very firm because it's moving slower. Where thoughts are very, very quick, right? And they move even faster. Um, the only thing that's faster than our thoughts is our spirit. Um, so um, if you think about it from that perspective, that's why you know there's multiple religions throughout the whole entire world over a period of time. And, and, and so we have the capacity to be able to, to use energy medicine as a, a prayer tool. Um, but what sets Qigong apart, or Chinese energy medicine apart, is um, they've created a system to, to use acupuncture points as almost like a roadmap. Um, I'm sure most of you could actually close your eyes and, and imagine yourself driving home, right? And, uh, um, and you know every turn, you know that every street, might not remember the street's names, but you know how to go, right? So with, with um, acupuncture, there's, there's well over 600 different points in acupuncture, but also depending on the style. There's, there's 600 points for Master Dung style, there's 600 points for traditional Chinese medicine. There's um, a thousand points in other systems. So there's, and there's thousands of different systems of acupuncture, right? But there's also hundreds, if not thousands of different systems of yoga, qigong, all those practices that fall into, into energy medicine, right? Um, we have our tapping sequence that we're gonna do in a few minutes. Right? All that falls into energy medicine. Now what's cool is this, um, energy medicine has no bounds. It, it, it could go through a concrete wall, like it could, because uh, energy is, is it, it takes any shape, right? So um, just like we could pray for our loved ones that are in California, in Florida, wherever they are in the world, right? We, we have that capacity. And um, I've, I know that when I've been prayed upon by people, uh, when I was going through my darkest of times in life, I felt better. And I know the power of prayer. And I know the power of the energy work because I, had, I just had um, uh, a football player that's, that's going to be going pro chronic wrist issues, and just through tapping um, on certain acupuncture points and using energy medicine, uh, the first time in years that he was actually able to do a push-up without pain. Um, I also just worked on two people at the same time, and uh, I had a very short window, about three to five minutes, uh, to work with them. One had severe stress issues, the other one had chronic headaches and neck pain, and that also improved. Um, so what's cool is this, we have the capacity to now that we are all virtual and all remotely, we could actually start learning new strategies to heal thyself. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of instead of giving you a fish, uh, teaching you to fish uh, so that you could eat for a lifetime or, or live for a lifetime. And I'm hoping that the courses I'm hosting right now will teach you guys to fish. That's my number one goal is to teach you guys to fish so that you can take what I teach you and multiply it, share it with other ones. Um, like and share it with your friends and family so that we create this morphic field, which is an energetic field of possibilities. Um, and the more possibilities we have, the more we can manifest miracles in our society. So the stronger we are as a culture and as a community, the stronger we are as people. In order for a community to change, you hear this a lot when I present, we must change. It has to start with inside us. We can't expect our spouse to change, our, our people, our loved ones, our friends to change. We can't. We can only expect us to change. And to be able to lead by example is what I'm hoping that we could do together collectively. All right. So if you can hit that like button and share button and we could go off.
All right, here we go. So I want everybody to think about a stressor um, and it, it might be financial, it might be spiritual, it might be emotional, it might be financial, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be health, um, whatever the stressor is. Uh, maybe it's, it's you being home with a spouse, stuck at home with a spouse and that's your number one stressor, right? Or uh, um, whatever it is to you, just make it personal all right? and quantify that on a zero to 10 scale. And I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. Typically I'm doing this type of tapping Right. Um, I just I'm, I want you guys to sit back and relax. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a surrogate, which pretty much is my tongue ren doll. All right. That has all these different acupuncture points on it. And I'm going to tap on this doll as you're thinking about the stress response. OK. Whatever the stressor is to you. And you're just going to sit back, relax, palms up on your lap, uncross your legs and just relax and take it all in. OK. The three o'clock class, I'm gonna go into more detail on this. Um, that's gonna be more for immune system. This is gonna be more for stress. All right, so let's go. Who's ready? All right, so what I wanna first do is open up the left side. Left side neck, ST11 and 12, LI17, 18, TW16, 17. And just for a moment, think about that stress response. I don't want you to hold on to it. I just want you to think about it and then let it go. All right, and then we're gonna open up the right side, ST11 and 12, LA 1718, TW 1617. Now open up C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and the vertebral arteries to the basal or pontine arteries at the brainstem. All right, so let me tell you about the brainstem a little bit. The brainstem is the reptilian brain. So this guy is very, very dumb, but it's very smart because its primary responsibility is survival, right? And so we need to, how do we need to survive? We need food, we need water, we need hydration, we need to procreate, we need to breathe, right? Um, we need to defecate. So everything happens automatically called the autonomic nervous system in the brainstem. But what happens under stress, we move from a neocortex, which is your frontal lobe, which is all rational thought, all the blood flow, not all, but it shunts from the frontal lobe back to the posterior lobe, or I'm sorry, from the brain stem. Hi Karen, how are you? We want to open that up. Now, the primary nerve that's going to help relax and calm the nervous system is the vagus nerve. So I'm going to open up the vagus nerve. And then I want to open up the frontal lobe. This is a turn off that monkey mind. And there's three powerful acupuncture points I'm going to call upon. One's the yin tang and tai yang. Those two points increase blood flow to the brain to calm the mind, the prefrontal cortex as well. And now I want to bring that nerve energy down, the vagus nerve to the heart. The heart's energetic field is 5,000 times bigger than the brain. So what I want to do is increase as much blood flow to the heart. In Chinese medicine, the heart is the emperor. And according to the Heart Math Institute, in order for us to calm the mind, we must go through the heart and have gratitude in the heart. So as I'm tapping, I want you to think about three to five things that you're grateful for right now. And if you can't think of anything, what could you be grateful for? The fact that you're breathing, that you, you have clothes on, you actually have internet access, whatever it is, just find one or two things that you're grateful for. Hi, Stacy. Nice. Now I'm going to open up the cardiopulmonary plexus from T6 to T12. Again, opening up the heart. Now my online courses will be starting hopefully within by the end of this week or next week. We're going to have classes on how to heal yourself, how to transform yourself, on energy medicine. We'll have a whole entire exercise video library from head down to toes on how to actually rehab yourself from home. We'll also have classes on nutrition weight loss, hormone regulation, how to increase testosterone for men over 
40. How to balance your hormones naturally. And lose weight rapidly and effectively. And how to reprogram our subconscious brain. Now let's go back to the heart. Now I'm going to go back up to the frontal lobe again. Now when you think about that stressor, you might notice things have changed a little bit for you. You might notice that it's a little bit further away from you. Hey Steve. You might notice that that stressor is a little bit less, it's less intense. You might feel more calm and relaxed. I want to open up C2 on the right side. And C1. And the vagal parameter. And then that's a yang and tiger tie on. Tie on on the right. Now opening up the vagal foramen on the left side, C1, C2. Tie on on the left, and frontal lobe. And then let's bring the energy back down to the heart and open up the heart again. Now take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, and relax. Now let's bring the energy down to your feet. Now we're going to change it up. We're going back up to the frontal lobe. Now what I want you to do is I want you to think of a future that you want to have as if it already exists. So create that future for yourself now. Have the brain start creating the biochemistry to make sure you achieve these goals you have. Imagine yourself achieving those goals right now, as if it's already happening. Feel what it feels like to have achieved those goals. Let's bring the energy down to your feet. Getting you rooted, getting you grounded, getting you out of your head. Oh, I feel a lot more relaxed. Tell me. How does everybody feel differently now? Please share this information. Please like the information. And you can watch this over and over and over again. Um, it doesn't have to be a live class. So feel free to watch it and envision yourself creating the future that you want to have in a healthy, safe, loving environment. All right, guys. Uh, go forth and conquer. Uh, go dominate this world. And um, I'll see you at the 3 o'clock class. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.